All right, what's up, everybody? This is Justin. Welcome back to Tea with Evivi. And I've got Mike Hi. and Nadia, or no, Nadia's husband, I apologize, Lincoln. And um, so I'm going to let them introduce themselves briefly. And, um, you know, like a little bit about themselves, maybe guys like uh, 30 to 60 seconds or so. And um, I'll just kind of explain the premise of everything so you guys know how this will go and, and we can hop into things and, and we can get started. So, um, Mike, if you just want to introduce yourself for us, just a little bit about yourself. And, um, yeah. All right, everybody, I'm Mike, um, Mike Smith. Uh, a little bit about me, I don't know, I think I call myself a jack of all trades. I do a lot of different things, social media, sports, fitness, uh, I do a lot of different things. So, yeah, work, dad, been in a long relationship. So, yeah, a lot. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds good. And then Lincoln. Lincoln is representing himself and Nadia, his wife. So, um, Lincoln, maybe you could give us like a brief introduction of, of yourself. My name is Lincoln Ali. Um... I'm a former employee of a com oil company, Petro Trin, which was in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, you know, at that point in time, I deal with a lot of um, supervisor there. Um, a lot of, I uh, worked on a lot of rotating equipment, um, like turbines, compressors, pumps, you name it. Big equipments, heavy equipments, and it was great. I love that job. Okay, awesome. And you are retired now, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So this is going to be fun because we actually have, you guys are in very, very different places in life. Um, so I think it will be cool for people to hear where you guys are at and the places that you guys get stuck and, and hopefully some answers that can help with that. So, um, so Mike, why don't we start with you? And then guys, just to give you like a, a brief introduction um, of this and then for the people listening so they can know. Um, basically, the way that I say that I help people, um, my favorite definition, definition of success is that success is the pursuit of a worthy ideal, right? So basically, this means that if we know what we want and we're going for it, we're a success, right? And this is a great definition because this is where happiness comes from. This is where fulfillment comes from. This is where self-esteem comes from. It's a definition from Earl Nightingale. It's not my definition. Um, but, you know, when, when you see these people who, you know, are making millions of dollars but not happy, this kind of like cliche thing that we always hear, um, this is the reason why they're not happy is because they might have made a bunch of money, which is not bad. That's a good thing, right? Make a bunch of money. But it doesn't necessarily mean they know how they want their life to be going. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going there. And so um, good questions for me for today from you guys would be um, anything related to performance, to happiness, to fulfillment, to you being stuck and you're not sure what to do next. Um, you know, why is this not really looking how I want it to life-wise, business or personal? Um, you know, anything that has to do with any of that stuff is probably going to be a good question. But if you have other questions, that's okay too. And so maybe just give me like a little bit of background of the question, and then you can ask it as a question. So saying like, hey, Justin, how can I dot, dot, dot? And so that way I'm able to like answer specific questions. So um, Mike, so why don't we start with you? Um, and again, there's just the two of us, which is nice because we can go in a little more detail um, and we can maybe even hop back and forth a little bit, or we could go just one at a time. But um, if you want to start us off of how things are going with you, Mike, and um, places that you feel like you're getting stuck or where your frustrations are, um, where you're like, man, I'm not really sure what to do next. I'm not sure what to do with this. Um, and um, yeah, and hopefully we can we can figure some things out so you can get us started. Got it. So, I mean, for me personally, this question is, is more on, a, I think, a mindset and feeling, but then it, it also gets directed to like business. Okay. Uh, so, like for me personally, I think I have a, I have this thing where like I really want to feel the same way every day. So, like you know, you have you have more motivated days than non-motivated days. So, how can I 
take my mindset and really feel as motivated or not even motivated, but just as disciplined. Cause I, I am disciplined, but it's just, uh-huh. just rather feel that it's incitement. I don't know, release a dopamine or something like that on my brain like every day. Okay. So, so the question is like, how can I be consistently more motivated? Yeah. Like optimize my, yeah, my drive. Okay. Okay, so how can I be more consistently motivated and have a higher drive? Yeah. Okay, cool. And Mike, just give people a little bit of context of your background, because each of you guys, this is going to be a fun, a fun episode, because you guys are extremely different. And you're both very high performing people, but in different ways. So share with people. I know you're probably being a little bit modest or humble right now, but you know, you're a very high achieving person. So share with people briefly where you come from, Mike, in terms of your career, your background. So people kind of know who they're listening to. Okay. Got it. So, um, so yeah, I was a highly recruited high school football player out of Miami, uh, Accepted an offer, had 18 offers coming out of high school. Accepted an offer to the University of Miami to play linebacker there. And there I went to the NFL and the CFL and WWE. Then WWE as a guy to fitness and became a personal trainer. So I was a personal trainer for about three years. Worked my way up to like um, a fitness manager role, but then transitioned out of personal training slightly still does it do now I do CrossFit coaching also I do I'm a student advisor in the school as well in a college and um, I also do TikToks and social media and we're growing rapidly on our uh, on social media and I'm also a dad of a four-year-old daughter I've been in a 12-year long relationship uh, since I was like 16 um with my girl uh yeah so it's like now and I'm also studying to take my real estate exam actually it's Sunday so yeah I'm just adding a lot right now so I'm just on hyper drive every day so it's like I want to become more of like a well-oiled machine to like keep going going okay so um good so thank you for sharing that so Um, Just to make this question a little easier to answer and to hopefully give a little more value for you, you want to be more motivated and have more drive. Um, You just listed a shit ton of things, right? You just listed like 15, 20 different things. So, um, you know, what do you want to be more motivated and driven to do? Like if you That's were more motivated and driven, like how would that be showing up? How would things be different? Where would you be allocating more of that motivation and drive? And that's where I think I feel like certain, I might, I might be answering my own question, but certain things are blocking me only due to like certain situations that I need to fix. Okay. But like I'm slowly growing in aspects like I would like to be eventually like full-time social media uh fitness kind of real estate enthusiast like I see myself doing I feel like I can actually do it and I have like a very uh backstory that I could provide to the world overcoming a lot of different things uh trials like a lot of testimonies of get back up keep going the world's coming to an end and then the next day is like bright on the other side like I've been through a lot so it's like getting to that point where I think I build up enough confidence in myself to project that out to the world okay and okay. I'm driving right now if you guys not see me looking at the screen oh no that's okay. Driving, so. that's okay that's okay um so you listed a lot. So I'll, I'll give you like the vague answer and then we can go more detailed. And it's, it's funny because this is actually, we, we've just done a couple of these episodes so far, but this is a very, very common question. It's like, how do I motivate myself? How do I stay motivated? And it's a good question. 
So my opinion, right? Of course, these are all my opinion. Um, but I think the answer that I've given to other people and when I'm working with my clients and things, if we are not feeling motivated, well, for one, f- feelings are kind of tricky, right? Because it's like, the feelings are not always going to be there, but we have to execute even when the feelings aren't there, right? So you were in the NFL, you know, there might have been days where you were not necessarily feeling like doing all the shit you had to do. Um, oh, Mike, did we just lose you? Hmm. Probably, probably internet connection it was probably driving. Yeah, let's see. Um there we go. Hey, Mike, can you hear me? Yeah, bad signal, bad signal. We're back. Oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. Um, so, damn, that just, like, threw off my train of thought. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, so, so motivation. So, usually, it's a combination of two things, right? The first is that our goals are not clear enough. And the second is that they're not big enough, right? So what I see a lot of, so first of all, almost nobody has the clarity that they really need to have to go for what they want. So there's a great line by Einstein where he's like, your goals, what you want should be so clear that you could explain it to a child and that child could explain it to another child and that other child could draw a picture of it. So basically really fucking clear and, and very few people have that. And so I I tell people our mind is a lot like Google Maps. So, you know, if you put hotel in Google Maps, it doesn't really know what you mean and it won't really take you there, right? It'll just give you a bunch of options, but it doesn't get what you're saying. But you could put like a restaurant in a different country and Google Maps will tell you like, go to this airport, fly to this country, like it will tell you that. And so, you know, when we're not motivated, part of it is we're not clear enough. And so our mind sort of like stalls out you know, it sort of like doesn't know what to do next when it's not clear enough. And then it's not big enough. So a lot of times people set goals that don't excite them enough, to be honest with you. So I'll, I'll just give like an income example, right? If the most you ever made was like 40 grand in a year. And let's say that this year you have a goal to make like 43,000 or 45,000 or something like that. It's just not that exciting. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, three or four or five more grand in a year. It's like, uh, like, or like, let's say you've got 100,000 people on TikTok and you, this year you want to get like 105,000. It's like, it's a good example. You just wouldn't be that motivated because it's not that exciting, you know? Um, or if you just say, I want to get more followers on TikTok, that would be an example of not having enough clarity, right? So let's say that your goal is to get more followers on TikTok. It's vague and it's not that exciting, right? So your motivation is going to be kind of low versus let's say today is July 22nd, right? So let's say if you're like, um, and this is something we talked about in the messages. Let's say if you guys had a goal, yeah. like, by January 1st, 2023, I have a million followers on TikTok. So now all of a sudden that's really fucking clear. And you know, so you know what it is and it's exciting. So when we have goals that are exciting and clear, what happens is it starts to pull us. You know, and you guys probably both had experience in your life of that feeling of pushing yourself to do something where you're like, oh my God, I got to do this. I got to do that. Oh, I got to push myself. This is uncomfortable. This is annoying. This is draining. I'm not excited, right? I'm not motivated. I'm not getting that dopamine hit versus like, oh man, like when you know exactly what you want and it excites you, you're not really going to have that lack of motivation. So that's where that stuff comes from. So to give you a little bit more specific so you can really use this and kind of apply it immediately, you know, what what would be some specific things that you would want to go after? Like you have all, you yeah. jack of all trades, right? You're jack of all trades. You got all this. Yeah. Stuff. So I'm going to give you one other little piece and then I'll ask the question again because this will help you in, in how to answer it. So, oh um, and this is good for listeners too. So, um there's a rule called the 80, 20 rule, right? So 80% of our results come from 20% of our efforts. And most people think it's more like 90, 10. So 90% of our results come from only 10% of the stuff we're doing, which also means 90% of what we're doing is only giving us a 10% return. 
And this applies to pretty much everything in life. It's called the Pareto principle. It's extremely, extremely helpful way to look at life. So Mike, for you, um, as a former NFL player, as a trainer, you know, um, as a content creator, as all this different stuff, there's 10% of what you're doing in your day that's giving you a 90% return, it's giving you all your results. And then there's 90% of yeah. stuff that you're doing in your day that's only giving you 10% return. So what we want to figure out is exactly how you do want stuff to be going so we can know, okay, my 10% of stuff that's giving me my 90% based on how I want things to go would be this stuff. And then we want to live in that 10% because that's how we really multiply our results and multiply our life. So in your situation as a jack of all trades, what we really want to know is like, okay, cool. You're good at all this stuff, but what is it? Let's say that you are guaranteed to be successful, right? Let's say that you can make seven figures a year doing whatever you wanted out of all the different jack of all trades stuff that you've got going on. You're guaranteed to crush it, guaranteed to make a million a year. What would you like life to look like and what would really excite you of how to be spending your time if you knew that you're going to kill it regardless of what you chose got it so uh, we, we talked about this one before and then yeah a little bit we did so yes yeah, so to the last time it was like or, or like real estate and fitness right and then uh -huh. we kind of like stayed on fitness but then i started to realize after I, we, after that conversation, I dove deeper into my fitness and I was like, do I really, like, do I really genuinely enjoy it? Or is it a, a, just a discipline that I've had since I was like a kid? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, huh. so I enjoy it because I, you know, it, it just comes naturally to me, but it's not something that I would want to do for so I'm like, I would love to just work out, you know, I would want to work out, but I don't want to train everybody forever. So then I'm like, okay, but how can I monetize that in a way? So I think what my click would be as long as this is always there, I'm just waking up and pretty much vlogging my day in and day out life every day and is what I do throughout that day. So then that day will look for me is if I can wake up, make a nice breakfast, work out, um, do content, you know, a little content here. Uh, I've, I've been fishing around in the real estate because we also talked about real estate as well. I've been fishing around in it for a while. I have a bunch of like formal buddies that like are in real estate. They, they keep like it, 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 And like it, it's been popping up for a while so i'm like I'm like why does it keep popping up so maybe it's a sign of the universe is telling me hey give it a try see what happens and i'm like okay also to my age i'm 28 so it's like i'm also figuring out a lot of things about me right now so i'm just just trying to find what sticks and um yeah because like football took up a lot of my life at a point where it was like i couldn't find what skills that I had at the moment, just only because I was chasing football so hard. But now that's kind of like ceased now. So it's like, all right, I've been able to take probably like the last three years of my life to like really dive into like skills that I have with like sales or talking to people or just showing signs of confidence and stuff. So I'm like, all right. And then Gary V is very um, contagious in my ear <laughs> about the content creating. So um yeah that's that's i think that's pretty much in the bigger scheme of it now obviously it's a uh, mic that i have to place and i think that's where i'm struggling at to like place those micro things so that like how you said that 10 percent said, all right, this is the that I need to do every day, regardless of how, regardless of motivation, clarity of, all right, this, 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 because this will get you, get you this result. And I've also been looking for like a mentor or somebody. Uh, you hear me? 
Uh, no, not really. It's, it's sort of sound like a robot. Yeah. You can hear me? I think I think it's better now. Oh, man. Let me get out. Let me get out. Yeah, I had to get out of this spot. So, yeah, I think just make, finding that, that person that can help along my brain, because I've been on this journey kind of by myself for a while. Yeah. And, like, trying to optimize, like, all right, you're a high, like, I know I'm a high performer. I'm like, all right, you know you're a high performer. You've been at the elites of, of things. So it's like, okay, now how can I switch that from just a physical ability to more, like, taking it more mental all right make your yeah. mind that high performer now you get what i'm saying so that's where i'm I at do. no i do yeah um are you happiest when you're creating content like if you could be making a million dollars a year and you could be like a superstar of that is that kind of what makes you really fulfilled well i yes like i i didn't now i will say this it took me a while to get over it and a lot of like i've heard a lot of people deal with this as well like uh -huh. you know it's like a fear thing of all right i post the content but i'm like being very vulnerable of like criticism and it took me a while like i had one post on my facebook that went crazy right but then knowing how to like take out the negative part of like certain people are just going to be negative all the time like and like it's okay like it doesn't really affect you like it is it taking withdrawals from your account? Is it making you feel bad? Like taking that aspect out. It took me a while to get over that. And um, yeah, after I got over that hump, it was like every time I do it now, I'm like actually happy seeing the results of, wow, like it actually pops and it actually grows and is getting a bunch of views and we actually can take this to another level. So yeah. So if you... If you were guaranteed to be successful, guaranteed to make money, is that is that kind of how life would look for you? Like the content creation? Yeah. Okay, good. Very much. That's important. So, by the way, we can we can apply the 90-10 rule to fulfillment and happiness. So what does that mean? It means that 10% of what you're doing in your day is contributing to 90% of your happiness and fulfillment. And what it sounds like to me is that your 10% is content creation. That if you could really be guaranteed to make a bunch of money doing whatever, that maybe that's what you'd be doing because that's what brings you a lot of joy. You know, so that's what we're looking for. So that's really yeah. a good insight. Um, you know, for people that don't know you, obviously I know you a little bit, um, but guys, for the people listening yeah. for Lincoln or you're listening to this too, because this, you know, this is stuff Lincoln that you can take from. And then when Mike is listening to you, he'll take stuff from, from hearing you. Um, but, you know, Mike, you have <laughs> massive, massive, you know, momentum on TikTok. You know, like I've, I, I told you that other day that I, I watched a, a bunch yeah. of videos of, of you and your girlfriend and they were really good, to be honest. I was like really impressed. I was like literally yeah. laughing as I'm like watching all these videos. Um, so, you know, I, I think you guys have a lot of talent. Like, it, it, and it's obviously it's hard work also. I know you guys yeah. put a lot of time into that, but I think you have talent. And I think that, I think that, um, you know, you guys have probably heard like, you know, where there's the intersection of the circles of like, oh, what you love, what you're good at, what makes you money, whatever. Um, yeah. I think you guys, you love the content creation. You guys are extremely good at that. Um, that's yeah. your account that's popping by far the most. And you have a bunch of social media platforms and pages, um, which you're doing well on the others too. Yeah. But that one is like by far, you know? So I, I think I, I remember when we were messaging. Yeah, but, that one was by far. Yeah. So my gut feeling of what you should do um, is... You love the content. That's your happiness, fulfillment, 10%, right? Of how you'd really want to be spending your time. I think you guys really can build a life on that. And I think that you should go all in on the moment yeah. that you have, you know? So for the people that don't know, uh, you know, guys, Mike was asking me, well, you know, there's these other things that I'm passionate about too. You know, what if I don't only want to talk about the dating or relationship? What if I want to talk about some fitness or what if I want to talk about, a little bit of like motivation and personal development. And Mike, like I said to you that day in yeah. the, the Instagram messaging, I think you can incorporate that, you know? So maybe for every 
for every yeah. 10 posts you do on TikTok, maybe like seven or eight of them are like you guys relationship and dynamic, which is hilarious. I mean, your girlfriend is really funny also. Um, yeah. And then, you know, maybe one of yeah. them is fitness and one of them is, um, is like motivation, you know, so you can still share all of your stuff. Yeah. Um, so of that day when yeah. we were talking, I really, really that, I, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, no, nah, because I was going to say, I think also, too, um, I noticed that um, it's funny because a lot of people don't know a lot of different sides of me because it's like, like, if I'm not on camera, they're like, I never thought if they saw me in person, they're like, yo, I didn't think you would be like that or I didn't think this. So I, I, it was like I give off a lot of different um, thoughts and weirdly, too, like my my personal page is actually just popped as well. So it's like. I'm like, okay, so now I can, we have, yeah, it's crazy. My girl, we made her personal page because she also has content that she wants to put out that mm -hmm. doesn't really align with the relationship, but it's like page and we're like growing in that aspect. So I, I see that social media for us could be like a thing. I think also, I feel like it's time because we put in a lot of time from like college to now taking breaks, intermediate breaks, dealing with like my football stuff so I feel like now that I think I put that at bay now we're really focused yeah I think most part. I think your 10% is that page you know going back to Gary V so a couple things one um Gary V posts different shit on his on his Instagram and TikTok like he talks about the Jets he talks about garage sailing you know like he talks about different stuff but, you know, yeah. mostly business, but also kind of personal development. So, you know, you can share different facets of you on one page, but you guys have that yeah. one page that has such a gigantic such following, a you know, I really, yeah. really think so going back to the 90, 10 rule, right? Your 10% is that page. What's giving you a 90% yeah. return and your engagement is that page. And then what's giving yeah. you a 90% return in happiness and fulfillment is content creation. So now we've got content creation is where you really want to be. That's where you're the most happy and fulfilled. And then within that, we've got that page. I think like 70 to 80% should be maybe the dating stuff or whatever. And 20 to 30% or however you want to split it up, you can put in other stuff too. You know, I think nice. that you guys could go yeah. all in on that page. It's okay to put other stuff. Doesn't always have to be one thing. And because, you know, we have yeah. different sides of us, you know, I have the life coaching, yeah. my page, but then I, I have little fitness stuff that I put on there. I have dancing that I put, you know, yeah. and so people can see like, oh, that's cool. Justin does this. Justin does that. Um, you know, and as you guys branch out, you might have different products and services that you sell to people. You know, you might have a fitness course, yeah. you might have a relationship course, you might have like a how to blow up on TikTok course. You know, you might yeah. have like all of these different things that you sell, but remember what Gary Vee talks about money follows attention, right? So we have to have people to sell to, but once you have people yeah. to sell to, you can really sell whatever the fuck you want. You know, yeah. you, you and your girl are your own brand. So if people already like you guys, they can be like, oh, I really like them. Oh, they had this fitness course. Cool. Oh, I really like them. They had this relationship course of how to have fun and be silly and, and enjoy having an awesome relationship. Cool. I will buy that from them. You know, Oh, this is also he, how it talks about how he was in the NFL and now he got here and he has some motivation. It's all on brand. You know, for me yeah. with, with a VV, with my company, I could have life coaching, but I could have courses. I could have books. I could have clothing. And if people like me and they believe yeah. in me and the brand and it evokes a certain feeling, then they can buy all that stuff. But I have to have attention first. So yeah. Um, so that's what I would say. And this, this call is about to hang up in, in two minutes, so we can call right back, but I'll finish this thought because it's, it's good timing. Um, and then we can just call each other right back in a second, but my yeah. recommendation to you, and I sort of said this on Instagram. So we know that content creation is your happy place. You're happy. You're fulfilled. You love it. Right. So I would go all in on that page. I would share the different stuff. And remember, money follows attention. That's where your attention is. So you build up the attention there. And then let's get back to the specifics, right? So how do I stay motivated? Well, 
if you guys had the goal, and I think that's a good and real goal to get a million followers on TikTok by January 1st, 2023, do you see how that's yeah. really specific? And so your mind can sort of lock in on that. And it's exciting enough that you're not really going to feel like, oh, I'm pushing myself. I got to get myself to do this. You're going to feel like it's pulling you. And that's what we want. That's how we want to design our lives, where we have things that feel like they're pulling us, you know? Yeah. And so that starts to solve the motivation thing, right? Which is clearer and more specific. And then we're living in our 10%. So your 10% is content creation and focusing on that page. And then again, you can sell whatever you want. You know, when you have a brand, yeah. you can sell whatever you want. Um, let's, uh, this is going to hang up in like 30 seconds. So let me hang this up real quick. And, um, and I'll call you guys right back and we can kind of finish up these thoughts and then Lincoln, we can go to you. And then Mike, that will be helpful for you to hear Lincoln stuff too. So I'll call you guys back right now. Okay. 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 All right. Bye.